Hello, today we have got The Pearl. And it, I think it's a very interesting book. Hello, fellow plot questers. And today we got The Pearl, like I literally just said, what am I doing? And it's by John Steinbeck, and well, let's get right into the review. So, well, The Pearl is basically a, a just a kind of almost like a fairy tale style story. And the characters are Kino, Joanna, and Koyosito. I Koyosito? I have no idea how to say that name. If someone knows like Mexican and English, please tell me. I, I, I have no idea how to pronounce it. But anyways, the point is, Kino is a pearl diver or fisher. I'm not sure which. But I, I think he kind of does both. And he lives in these huts next to a sea where pearls are found a lot. Joanna is Kino's wife and Koyotito is their young son. And yep, like I just mentioned, they're a Mexican family and they live near fa an area famous for pearls. And one day, it's just a peaceful day, and their freaking kid gets stabbed by a scorpion, and they don't have any money to go to the doctor. Well, they do, but the doctor is kind of racist and stuff. And so one last time, they go and pearl dive, and they find a pearl. And a really, really valuable pearl. And he goes, he's like, oh my god. Gosh, that is crazy. That that is a crazy pearl. And now I'm to, I could sell this, and I could give my kid a really good education. It could give my give my uh, wife a really really good thing, a really really good life, and our family could have a better life now, and we could be so rich. And so he the next day he goes ahead and tries to sell it. However, all the people in the city near him kind of tries to scam him, and no one gives him the proper price. And so he turns around and he doesn't give it to them. And he says he'll go to the capital. That night, he's attacked by a couple of random people. And he know, and which kind of solidifies the fact, oh, they were lying. Why would they try to steal a worthless pearl if they were saying it's, you know, worthless? It's, it's crazy. And so, and so we, and so we know, we just murder. And that guy tried to take the pearl and we killed him. Um, Kino killed him. And now they gotta run because it was self-defense. But will those will those guys believe us? No, they're gonna take the side of the the kid who died, the dude who died, because they're probably the ones to send him. So they run away into the mountains. However, however, um, a chase, uh, a chasers are right on their tail. And so Joanna and Koyotito hides nearby, and Kino goes in and tries to take them out. However, unfortunately, while in a fi while fighting. One of the random bullets that the chasers had shot had hit their child, and now they have nothing. And so they go back home, and the, the child is dead, and they're super sad, and they throw the pearl back into the water. Now, a couple of things. So I want to talk about the themes of this book, and first of all, I think the biggest one I think is the themes of good and evil. Now, uh, John Steinberg actually has a really beautiful description for this. He says, there's the song of family, and there's the song of evil that um, Kino keeps hearing. And the pearl emits this mixed signals of good fortune and yet evil. Meanwhile, his sense of family is all around him was his kid and his wife. And although he wants to make their lives better by using the pearl, he ends up being a lot worse to his wife, kind of abusive and hitting her and stuff, and being a lot more stressed and angry because of the pearl. And I find that really ironic because he's tried to use the pearl to save his family and make his family just stand in a better place. However, the pearl is bringing misfortune upon him and his kid dies at the end. And I think that really shows how good intentions can lead to bad things. Just because you have good intentions and you're trying to help someone doesn't mean that that help will create positive effects. In fact, it can do the complete reverse, and that's what happened, unfortunately, in this story. And of course, another major theme is family. Um, I, as I just said, Akino's doing everything for his family, his kid, his wife. He, he's sell, trying to sell a pearl properly for the right price because he wants his family to be in a good place. And another, another thing I could say is kind of corruption, almost. Of course, Kino, the protagonist, never really becomes evil, but like I said, the way that John Steinbeck described it was that the song of evil and the song of and the song of 
good and the song of family is kind of like fighting inside his head like it's mixed and then when there's the song of violence and evil then the the song of family is deepened and then when Koyo, Koyo I I seriously have no idea their kid dies his his song of family turns into the song of battle and rage and that's that's a really cool scene and I think that also shows how much family is important but also like there's almost this sense of corruption where where because of his good intentions like I just talked about his his, his changing and the book kind of describes the entire situation as like before the pearl and after the pearl and I think that also shows how like the the family is changed after the pearl and how that seems to almost corrupt their family and almost destroy their peaceful lives and I find that just really really interesting and those were the themes that I kind of saw. And all in all, I found it a compelling story. And I thought it was interesting. But a couple of things, I was kind of confused, I guess. Because um, cause I didn't know where where this was going on, what was happening. I didn't, I didn't really get this setting from just reading. And I kind of only understood, like... Where it was from when they talk when they when the money the money the unit of money they used was pesos pesos whatever so I searched up under internet and realized it's Mexico, and now I realize that they they're they're in Mexico, <laughs> so that that is kind of confusing there. But overall, I found it a really interesting story about morals and about good themes like as I said, good and evil, family and corruption. And yeah, I found it just super duper interesting. Of course, there's some minor themes like perseverance and, and stuff like that, but those are really blatantly obvious. So I just broke down the ones that I really, really kind of felt in touch with. Yeah, and all in all, I found the story to be almost like a fairy tale. Like, like you know, the kind where, you know, you know, um, uh, you don't go outside in the dark at night, you know, that kind of moral of a story, except it was a novella and it was a lot more serious. And yeah, again, I found it interesting, but some of the setting to me wasn't clear and it felt a little bit muddled up and confusing. So I'll give it a 7 out of 10 or a 6.5 out of 10, somewhere around there. So that's my rating for the book. Um, if you want a good old, good old story with, a little, uh, with compelling literary elements in it, go ahead. You can an analyze it all the way you want. However, if you're reading for entertainment, I don't know. I found it a little bit confusing, like I just said. Anyways, have a great day, and like always, your podcaster, Aaron the Podcaster. Have a great day, and goodbye.